Who one is. Dan is your top three? God. I don't even know if I have a top three. <laughs> this is the problem. <laughs> I don't know if there is three people. <laughs> I knew you were going to ask that. I knew you were going to ask that. <laughs> who are we? Who are we taking out? Are we taking anyone out of the room? Uh, in no yeah. clap. <laughs> in, <laughs> in no Half of those people order. on that list. In no particular order. Three names that I will consider. You're oh. going to say Deserby. Deserby would be in there. Pep Linders would be yeah. in there. Oh, Emery would be in there. That's three. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Bye, bye, girls. Um, Flick would be in there. Shimoni and Zaggy, if you could pull them out of Inter, would be in there. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, well, if we were that... So there's five. Thiago, <laughs> there's yeah. five names. Thiago Mata, um, Thomas Tuchel, and Pep Linders. Is Thiago Mata the CDM who I'm thinking of? I think he was. Did he play for PSG at some point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The MC. Not anymore. We had a big old chat about this last night, didn't we, on the watch along? Yeah, Slaughter and Chloe's feet. It looks like he's Juventus bound, but if he wasn't, he'd be in the monks, the candidates for me. Oh, you said too sure. Too sure. And Pep. Pep. Okay. Unai Emery. Can I throw a curveball in? Sorry to interrupt you. What do you think? Thomas Frank. No, no, absolutely not. You get away. I, I, I don't I have a problem with that at all, to be honest with you, Don. I don't, but I don't think it would work with the Liverpool fan base. Well. I have the same problem I have with De Zerbi, with Thomas Thomas Frank, Frank is a is better it? human being than Roberto De Zerbi. Yeah. Wait, why is De Zerbi such a horrible oh, human is, being? Why? I, my, fi- my worry with him is that I, I can just, I've just got a vision of like him barking incessantly at the side of the head of Pep Guardiola and or Mikel Arteta while we are we are, they cruise away from us to win another win another league title and he's just this really shouty fella and that's what he's that's what he's got and that is a bit and that's stupid that is a fear that is not based on how he plays or, 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 his, or his coach or his tactics and all that kind of stuff it's just how he conducts himself yeah. he feels like the kind of guy who you know we, we talk about like we love emotion on the side of pitch it's become the buzzword of the last decades of managers managers show passion on the touchline I'm I worry that he's more of an it's more of being a narc that'll just get him in you know what I mean like so yeah. I, I think it, I think, I think he's stop blaming those, everyone else the recent uh, comments have been terrible I, I just think if he's yours it's different yeah maybe yeah. I mean, that, that's we've what, seen think, that with players over the players, years players yeah that's fucking a Suarez thing, and fucking know, everything like, look at Diego, Diego Simeone Jota. like you know Diego what I mean Simeone, by the way. Diego Simeone look at him like yeah. Atletico fans adore him but he's a narc yeah. but I don't think I don't think deserve he's that I just think he's a bit of a tip but also Atletico Madrid are not Real and they're not Barcelona and I'm not saying we are those two no, football he's clubs fit for them. because he is the, they're the, the underdog, perennial yeah. underdog yeah. so maybe, course, uh, maybe, if, maybe if I yeah. asked the Liverpool manager a Liverpool fan about Diego Simeone they say no Diego, yeah oh, and Diego <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Diego Simeone. Yeah, Diego Simeone's also again. He, he comes in. He came into there being a one of the best defensive midfielders on the planet. Having been an Argentine international playing World Cups, he, he came with a huge. With the Zerbi, it, it, again, it goes back to that point. I'm looking at Sassuolo and I'm looking at uh, these things. And it's another one. He's just for me falls into that category. He's exact. He's with Thomas Frank and he's with Andoni Areola for me. Of these, and I'm I'm an, he might be. He might be able to, to 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 step it up, but yeah, again, he's just he, he's just in a mush of managers with me. A uh, mush of managers. Yeah, there's like a that. mush of managers, and it a could be gaggle. Any, no, no, yeah, no, it I'm could a be. Mush. No, but it is. They've all they've all got a technical area of managers. bits and pieces yeah. that makes me think they could That's, be all right. Tom, but Thomas Frank, personally, I think I'd like, but tactically, I, I, I there's just something about it. But is that I'm because like, of what he's got at his disposal? Maybe, maybe it is. I, I don't know. There's just but he completely changed the way Brentford play yeah. when they got to the league. They mm. were a ball dominant side. I'm absolutely mm. fine with that. There's just still something there about it that I just think no. But on a human level, personally. But on a human like level, he seems lovely. On a human level, I, I just go back to uh, where he was going over to the fans and he goes and hugs Boss. them and things yeah. like that. Just, yeah, like he, has, he seems like a sound. Just man. needs to be someone who's on the rise, and that's the thing. Someone who's like you know who, who's. who's I can be excited. You can punch it, punching above your weight, and the and is 
is an, is a necessity and some of these managers kind of are but in a, in a hard to measure kind of way it's hard to measure how much the Zerbi really is punching above his, his weight because ultimately he's in the Premier League you're never going to win the you're never going to win anything in the Premier League but managing Brighton Brighton are just not going to win the league they're not going to win a major European they're not going to win the Champions League being in you know because they're just they're not that they're not big enough to do that so this is like looking around Europe and you mentioned uh, Inzaghi you know like I don't know anything about him, but I would. I know that he's done a good. I know you know when we got Rafa, he'd broken the hegemony of yeah. of La Liga with it with the, with the third to fourth favorite team in that in that league at that time, and he'd won a European trophy in the process of it. Amarim's done that a bit with with Sport and in winning the league in recent in recent years and had some Champions League experience as well. Mm-hmm. Alonso's about to do that, or has just, has just done that. Sorry, yeah. in in the Bundesliga. Those kind of things make perfect sense to me. And why I say a mush of managers is a bunch of guys who are good enough to be Premier League managers, but it's impossible to know whether they're good enough to make that. Step. And that, that, that that's the problem. Yeah. That, that that's the thing that we're all going to have to make peace that's with. That's what we all know. Because yeah. there's no outstanding candidates. And, Carlo Ancelotti ain't coming. No. Pep Guardiola ain't coming. Zabi Alonso ain't coming. Zidane might or might not be a manager anymore. Nobody really knows. <laughs> yeah. uh, he might or might not have been a manager when he won three European Cups. <laughs> Nobody really knows. I'm used to the presence, I think. Yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, but like, we are in the eye of the storm here. Not to get like all philosophical on it and stuff, but like, we're all the type of people here who will find a way to be happy yeah. and look mm-hmm. positive about yeah. it yeah. but right now we're in that sort of darkness Still we're in the known, shroud in yeah. a computer game where you don't know what's around mm-hmm. you it, we, it'd be nice to see what it is yeah. and open it That's up and stuff exactly. like that yeah. there are people out there who will stick with those opinions unfortunately yeah, yeah throughout so they, if it is yeah. Zerby, they'll hate the Zerby the entire time and they'll tell you at the end I told no. you so yeah. I'll yeah. pretend I'll be the opposite uh, yeah, yeah exactly as, I know soon as, I know as soon as he's signed as our manager there is you know what actually there, I but love that's what I'm that trying man. to say there is something because there. we're in that weird spot now yeah. Yeah. we all have those fears yeah. that we can't yeah. let go of yeah, but I, I don't have three names I the genuinely guy, don't have three names to give you the guy at Stuttgart is another Sebastian so Hoyness is another one I don't know anything about he's another he sort of trends well compared to Klopp's Liverpool and he's over before. I think he took over Stuttgart when he was like 15th last season yeah. and the third right now in the well they were ahead of Leverkusen last season so yeah um, so not as good as Abby still okay cool uh, yeah no uh, but your point is spot on that with that Chris is that look, I'll, get, I'll get behind any, any guy who's a Liverpool manager because I'm a Liverpool fan and that's, that's my job and also just that's what we're born to by being Liverpool fans that's how you support your football team but I, that, I'm more fearful of that thing what you're saying there of all it's all that, that people it's, it hides and I've seen it in recent years with Everton and it's like the worst way that uh, existence of that is Rafa Benitez taking over the Everton job where they didn't want him they didn't like him, didn't like, they had no, there was no positive vibes between them at all. But once he's in, you can go, well, he's won the European Cup, he knows the city, he understands it, you can start to spin it. But deep down, there's a percentage of their fan base and it was always, it was a much larger percentage. We're just going, this is shit and I, I can't really get behind it. And of course, we had that whole like Agent Rafa thing waiting <laughs> in the wings for it. And that's the thing, when you get someone who's not got a presence, that percentage of family because you have it with everyone it's, there's always everyone is hated by someone you know in the world and the bigger you get the more the more that pe- more that percentage of that people is and that's the problem now our managerial choice there is no 100% acceptable decision Alonso was the closest yeah. we could get to it yeah. and then you chop and you go Ruben Amarim and every time you make a cut down that list that growing faction of people who will never be fully bought into them as Liverpool manager even if they, because again, Rafa, even Rafa had it, where there was, I the, know the, that those voices, the senses get bigger and bigger when things don't quite go, don't quite go your way. Fucking yeah, hard task. Um, yeah, anyway, because you're going to be fucking hosting any more managerial chat shows. I can't do this. I'm just a fucking miserable twat about it. 